guys, Sufficient Lama, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I missed you so much, guys, as usual. And I'm back. I took long, like I said, uh, my neighbors are building, so I have to wait when there isn't that noise so I can come on and say something to you guys. Today's topic is very tricky, very, very tricky. I really don't know what I will be saying about it, but uh, I'm going to talk. What can I do? I wanted to talk about it since um, people are in my inbox a lot and asking me to say something about it. So before we start, kindly subscribe, like, share, comment, and yeah, thank you. Yeah, today's topic is about uh, the age matter in a relationship. Yeah, very, very tricky topic, but I'm going to try my best and tell you guys what I think about it. And since it's tricky, I'll make two videos about this topic. This will be part one and I'll make part two. This part will be does age matter in a relationship and I'll be giving what I think about that. And then the next part will be how to make uh, an age gap relationship work. So before we go further, uh, I don't think age matters in a relationship because age is just a number. When two people are in love, age, uh, color, um, financial difference, language, region, the region, you know, they all shouldn't matter when two people are in love. It should be about what they feel and what they want to do. They, they shouldn't care what other people think because it's their life, you know, you won't beat someone, an old person, Ooh, why did you fall in love with someone older than you or someone younger than you? Love is just something that naturally boom, brings itself. You never um, plan it, you never expect it, it comes unexpected and it surprises you most of the time. The people you always underestimate that you can't love them, it's the people that always hit you hard. So point number one, cultural aspect. You know, due to different culture and beliefs and religion, uh, some cultures discourage people with age difference, with uh, high age difference uh, to date or to fall in love. You know, a difference like over 20 year old and maybe 50 year old. Most cultures discourage them. So most of the times when these two fall in love and are dating, they face a cultural problem, which uh, it's okay. People can think what they want, but then if you consider your cultural uh, beliefs, it's hard for you to maintain your age difference in a relationship. So I don't think you should care about that because cultures change and you were raised in a manner that you shouldn't disrespect your culture, then you shouldn't have fallen in love with someone younger than you or older than you in the first place. So culture at times makes that difficult. Then number two, there is family background. You know, some parents don't really like it when they are young children, a uh, young boy or girl, 20 years, marry someone or fall in love with someone older, they don't like it. Like literally, I understand that if I were uh, a mom to a 20 year old, I wouldn't really like it uh, that my child is falling in love like with a 60 year old or to 40 year old, but what can I do? That's life, you get used to it later, you advise them on how to leave the relationship you're not supposed to discourage them but rather tell them since you have a big age gap do this don't do this but don't just hate them maybe chase them out of the family you know hate is not always the solution to everything and negativity is also not good try to be positive and try to let your children decide on what makes them happy parents who come out and be harsh on children and they like you can't date this one because they are 
poor, you can't get this one because they are ugly or because they are older than you. That's not good. Always try to find out what makes your girl child or boy child happy. There is maturity, number three. You know, I've seen 40-year-old uh, men, 70-year-old men that still act like stupid 18-year-old boys. And I've seen 20-year-old boys or girls that are younger in their 20s, but their IQ is so good and they are so active, more than someone that is 50. So uh, the mind matters. I don't think age matters. For example, I have met people that tell me, uh, that ask me, how old are you sufficient? I go, yeah, I'm 22. I'm soon making 22 in December. And they're like, oh my God, I like your personality. I like your IQ. You're 22, but your mind is grown. You're just like, yo. So you understand, it's always about maturity. I don't think age matters a lot. As long as you two can understand each other, your minds can connect, and you guys can do something together, can love each other, positively can lift each other, it shouldn't give you headache. Just love each other, spoil the hell out of yourselves. And there is financial stability, number four. So, uh, age gap in relationship, most of the time is not caused by love. Yeah, let's say uh, a 20-year-old boy falls in, in love with a 50-year-old woman. Really, a boy at times it's not because of love, but it's because he's financially unstable, and maybe the woman is financially stable. So because of what she can do for him or what he can do for her, they, these young people end up falling in love maybe, and then imagine more the money is not there would you still be with that person you're sure uh, with whether they have money or not so that's also a problem that money always attracts young people not only young people I've seen also age men that fall in love with another because of their financial status which is not a good thing so usually age difference is caused by uh, financial stability of the other person. So um, number five, there is a higher chance of divorce, you know, uh, because like I said in the last topic, what if your partner's money is normal? Would you still be with them or you would just divorce? Of course you divorce if you weren't in love with them. And maybe you guys fail to connect well, so you'd be like, you know, it cannot last as long as it should. Those families last when they really are good partners and they are cooperating to make the marriage or relationship work. And some are not that good to, some are pretenders and reach a point that they can't pretend no more. So they lead to divorce. So chances of divorce in age gap relationships are so high. Then there is social disapproval, you know, like um, where you're living, your, maybe your town, your village. People will always judge you. People will always be like, how can a, this old man marry this young child? But darling, do not care. They, as long as they don't feed you, they don't pay your rent, you know, they, they never created you. God created you. And um, yeah they shouldn't really get into your mind because if they get into your mind you think about it a lot and it may maybe lead to your divorce or break people will always judge you know there is no one perfect and people are judgmental you will never change them societies are, are just like that so just be you uh, talk to your person talk about it when people judge you when people say bad to you Go back home, talk to your partner, get it out of your chest. Because when you keep it alone, keep all the judgments in alone, uh, it gives you so much headache and so much pressure, so you end up losing it. All right, talk to your partner when people judge you. Tell him what they say and find a solution to it. But 
don't care what people think, but trust me, they'll talk. People talk a lot. And then there is having children in number seven. You know, <laughs> if your partner is older than you, maybe it means they already had children or they can't have children, which is so bad, God forbid. And maybe they just don't like children, you know. So when you're younger and you date someone with a very big age difference and you want to give birth to children or you still want to have children and they don't want to have children, that's a tough point, which may lead to divorce, to the end of your relationship because you want to have children, the other partner doesn't want to have children. So before you uh, maybe fall in love with someone, make sure you um, aware where, whether they want more children or they want children or they don't want children at all. Instead of pretending and just lead on the relationship and then after finding out they don't want more children or children then you end up hurt, broken, you know. Just always ask your partners straight forward before moving in a relationship with them. There is a uh, different goals in life, number eight. Uh, you know, <laughs> when someone is younger, their mind is still evolving and they want to travel, they want to go to the bar, they want to drink, they want to smoke weed, you know, that kind of lit life, you know, they want to go swimming, want to meet friends, you know. So, and if someone is older, they have seen everything already, they just want to stay calm, go somewhere, chill on a beach, relax, you know, do work. <laughs> so these two uh, opposite characters and personalities will lead to the breakup, maybe make it hard. So maybe always make sure your goals are the same. If you're a girl or a young boy that likes traveling, find yourself someone older that likes traveling. If you find someone that likes being home all the time, but you want to go to the clubs, you want to drink, dying, it's going to be so hard gonna get yourself broken so always ask your partners first honey do you want to go out do you want to do this be sure of what you're getting yourself into because different goals always in the relationships and not just in age gap in all relationships different goals no relationship because how will it work when someone is in uk every day in Uganda, you don't want to travel. Um, maybe someone has a hobby that you hate. Maybe someone has a character or does something that you don't like. Difficult. Number nine, unsatisfied feeling romance. You know, the older you get, the more your chances of being good in bed or romantic come down. So when young people fall in love with older people, sex is a problem and they are not satisfied, which may also end the relationship or the marriage because these younger people tend to look for good sex and that's cheating, which is not supposed to be in a good relationship. There isn't cheating. So that's the disadvantage of big age gap. That the other partner isn't uh, maybe fit for good sex and the other young partner wants, you know, that fresh romantic sex, that romance where you would prepare dates, you know, say young girls would like that. I like that. I like a man to do me a dinner date, invite me, and if he's old and just wants to be home or somewhere chilling, how am I going to have that? So think about all that and find a way uh, of working it out. Easier. There is socializing, number 10 and last one. You know, you have different friends. Let's say you're 20. Definitely you're having 20-year-old friends, girlfriends, boyfriends to hang out with. And your older partner has older friends that from school, from, you know, so it's always hard for you to socialize because different age, different friends. So always maybe try mix up. Today you could go meet his friends, the other day meet her friends, try socialize, that will, it will work. Or else, yeah, it won't work, you could 
take you to your friends and they will judge you. He could take you to his friends and they will judge you. So social life becomes so hard that you end up being bored, complaining a lot, and the relationship is gone. So thanks guys for watching Sufficient Lama and yeah, kindly subscribe, comment, sub uh, <laughs> subscribe again, share, and then please do not forget to tell a friend to subscribe and tell a friend to comment, share, to like, thumbs up, and hit the notification bell so when I'm here next time you can see me. My trial phone number is 070-345-1258, 070-345-1258. Hit me up and tell me what you want me to change or talk about and there will be a part two of this video in my upcoming YouTube video. Thanks guys. Ciao, ciao. Love ya.